Oh, and now that we have the little ones covered, it's time to whip up something delicious for ourselves as well, right here in the kitchen. Over cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares, adding joy and stretching our imagination. Elite quality, elite taste, elite texture. Made with love by Clover. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, if more outdoor activities like picnics in the park are on your summer bucket list, then nibbles will be needed. And our Clover cheesy pizza dough balls make for the perfect elite snack. And we can guarantee that the whole family will love them. Right, Chef Tumi? Definitely. Definitely. I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking, our sons are going to live their best life this summer because this is a treat for them. It's elite, it has texture, it has flavour, and it has cheese. It definitely more important, has it has cheese. A whole lot of cheese. <laughs> and also, it's so much more manageable because you know we want to give them a somewhat of a pizza, but the pizza gets a little messy. So how's about you just give them a handheld pizza in a bowl? You don't understand the struggle that I have every <laughs> Friday. So I think Luca thinks that I'm a rich mom and I don't understand why this is but every Friday when he comes home from school he's like mom pizza and I'm just like how do you know that it's Friday first how all, do you know that you want pizza every Friday but this is a, a good alternative if you want to play around with a different recipe still incorporating the goodness of a pizza right. into a cheese ball uh, exactly so let's get started with yes. it it's very simple very easy what I have over here is I've got the cheesy filling mixture over here and we've got some of our clover cheese we've got a tomato based sauce we've also got our spices you've got some thyme some garlic and some salt and pepper mm -hmm. so all I'm going to do is mix all of that together and then just crumble some of our feta clover feta into there and just make a nice beautiful mixture so in the meantime what you can then do mama is just work the magic for us and just um, roll our dough out for us and just make it into little balls that we're okay. gonna roll and fill with our cheesy pizza mixture. Perfect, I can do that. So, you want a nice big ball, some small medium balls? I think for me the thinner the mixture, uh, the thinner the base is the better because you also are able to bite, make sure you get a bite of the filling in every single bite you take. Whereas if there's too much um, dough and little filling then it ends up like you didn't get your money's worth, you know mm, what I mean? Indeed. And the last thing you want is you don't want people complaining about all you fed, at, fed us was dough and that's <laughs> not the, <laughs> that's not the idea. And you also just want that filling to ooze out because it's a Correct. nice little cheese filling when you, ba uh, when you bite it. So you want to make sure that that cheese just oozes out. So if it's going to be too doughy yeah. or too thick, you're not going to get that full experience and the texture of, of the cheese. So and what I've done here is I've made sure not to add too much salt because we're adding our feta cheese in there, which also is quite salty. So you want to make sure that you balance that flavor a lot. Rather add the feta first, and then you can add the salt after you've uh, tasted the mixture because you also don't want it to be overly um, salty, especially if you're going to be feeding those little ones. We want to make sure that it's still edible because you know they'll tell you if it's they not will, nice. They will tell you. <laughs> they do not need anything. Now, of course, for you at home, one need to know what all of the cheeses are going to give you. It's to give that elite taste it's going to give you that elite texture that we were talking about and also an elite quality of clover cheeses now of course for our pizza dough as we mentioned we are going to be using clover tussis cheese for its multi texture and then the clover feta cheese for its crumbly texture because it's all about the texture this morning and then yeah what, whatever cheeses you do have at home you can incorporate it into this but the more cheesier the, the better. better. And the, other, the beautiful thing is that you can also still have that simple pizza um, um, recipe by adding all your other flavors. If you want to, you can add your pepperonis, your bacon, your chicken. Yeah. You can add some strips. You can even add a lot more uh, veggies into this. Just saute some mushrooms, saute some peppers, add them into the mixture. That also ensures that you get all those nutrients that you want because we're trying to make sure that they get all those nutrients yeah. into their body. Here's my question though. Uh -huh. Would you put pineapple in this? I'm not a, uh, a hot a fruit type of person, but I've also noticed that the addition of the pineapple is such a beautiful mixture with the saltiness and the sweetness of everything else. So the pineapple just sort of enlightens it and gives you that uh, that sweetness that you need. Because some of us, about do we can eat put, put sugar in anything. <laughs> so instead of putting something that's uh, refined, I'd rather have a bit of pineapple there. We can be there. friends, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no, get we can it be friends. Friends. <laughs> that's, that's always the conversations, like people that eat pineapple on pizzas or people that don't eat pineapple on pizzas. I mean, Whatever, <laughs> whatever floats, floats your, your boat. boat. <laughs> Here we go. So obviously I've rolled this now. Yeah. And then we're obviously going to be using our air fryer for this one. But if you didn't have an air fryer, would you still be able to create this? Most definitely. You could even zhuzh it up, take it up a notch, and actually deep fry these. 
because that gives them a nice beautiful texture crunch on the outside and that beautiful soft gooeyness on the center but if not if you don't want all that oil you can always just put them on a tray and fry um, and uh, bake them in the oven just make sure you brush them nicely on the outside so they've got that beautiful golden crust on the outside got that so obviously I'm rolling the balls for you making it flat so that mm -hmm. you can put that filling into the center and then we're gonna pop it into the air fryer cool. and if you do have an air fryer for just about 10 minutes 180 degrees Celsius and we are gonna get that cheesy pizza and then also oh. make sure to make the to seal the ends because the last thing you want is to put this into your air fryer and the next thing you know all you have is a gooey mess. The cheesiness. Ah bang, I'll be sitting there scraping it off from the air fryer, just like I'm gonna take the last piece of cheese in there. Okay, I'm having too much fun with this. I can see. Now that I know how to Not roll the pizza. My friend. Come on now, this girl. There we go. So let's do one more and I'll pop it into the air fryer. Some stuff. And then of course we're gonna brush it with some oil. Do we brush it with oil? Um, in the air fryer? You can brush it, yeah, because it's easier. And also, okay. you don't have to worry about it. So again, it. air fryer mode. It's on 10 minutes, 180 degrees Celsius. We're just going to open it up. And we're going to pop that in. One awesome over stuff. here, two. Mm -hmm. Expressoshow.com is where you can find your hands on that recipe. Pop it in, just glaze it with some oil. And we are going to finish that up. Pop it in. Well done. There we go. And st start. There we go. And of course, if you missed out on any of these steps, here is a quick recap just for you. Made with love by Clover.